Hello there everybody, today I'm talking about the Bad Batch. I've been pretty behind these last three weeks, for these or two weeks, for these episodes, and let's go ahead and talk about it. Um, so the, uh, these last two episodes I thought were kind of eh, kind of boring, kind of just typical adventure episodes, not much really happened, they weren't bad, they were just like something I... Eh, not really into. So, this recent episode really took me by surprise, for sure. This episode, I think, is called Tribe. And it's where the Bad Batch uh, meet with these droid, Like, these droids for a deal or something for money. Credits. Uh, what, but it wasn't until Omega notices a, a Wookiee getting arrested by one of these droids. And then she helps save him. And it's revealed to be the... The Padawan Jedi from the Clone Wars, Gunji. Now, using the Padawan arc, he was in a few background episodes, I'm pretty sure. But he's the Wookiee with the wood lightsaber. It's like a wood handle, and he has like a green lightsaber. It's very awesome. And so, <clears throat> it causes trouble, and then the Batch and the Wookiee all escape. And then they realize they have to get him to his home world, and so they do go to his home world. But then they realize that Kashyyyk is um, run down by the Empire, and they the Batch tell or learn that if they leave them, um, they could probably die, and so they gotta help them with their conflict and have them somewhat be free from the Empire. And we, I like how we learn the cultures of the Wookiees. Like, like we get a bunch of. What I really like about this episode is, uh, we get like some nice old Republic references. If you don't know, in that game, you go to Kashyyyk and you learn a lot about the Wookiees. You explore their forest, the undergrounds of Kashyyyk. It's very nice. We even see these spider sort of creatures that we saw in the Knights of the Republic when you fight them. Like those creatures were super hard to fight. And they're even harder for our characters to fight, which was nice to see, I guess. And it's nice to see a Jedi character in this show, because we don't really see Jedi. The only ones we've seen are uh, Kane and Jarrus and his uh, master, the Balava. But it's, it's re- it feels refreshing to see a lightsaber character in an animated Star Wars show. I know we had them in like Tales of the Jedi, but I think you get what I'm trying to say. And so basically, there's like a big fallout with the clones as we see the regular clones trying to look for the batch. And then there's a big war, and like Wookiees are climbing onto the, the, the tank things. There's like fire everywhere, and, and I almost thought Gunji was gonna die, but then he doesn't, and then he destroys the clones. And then basically later in the episode at the end they end up celebrating and then and uh, they also tr- I there's this one little moment I liked where um Wrecker has a uh, Echo eat like the the Wookiee soup or something and then like Echo is just like nah but then he eats it anyway he's he's like eh not that bad and so that's I think that's the episode and Omega learns a lot of things from. The Jedi's perspective a little, and even learns the Wookiee's style, I guess, lifestyle. And it makes me wonder, where are those Padawans during Order 66? Like, where were they? Were they with Gunji during those episodes? Like, what happened to them? Maybe we'll... I thought we were going to see all those Padawans when I saw it in the trailer, but no, we just see Gunji. And they do learn Gunji was still was trying to fight a group of clones during Order 66, so we know he escaped. And this was a nice change of pace for an episode, since the last two just felt adventure aspect. This episode felt a little different, for sure. It'd be nice to see them, like, meet other Jedi, for sure, and rescue them. If I had any issues with this episode... Uh, I like the other two episodes more than this episode. Like, this episode was cool. Like, I liked the story. Eh, it wasn't, like, amazing or anything. I don't think it really had any issues. It was just... It was a nice episode. So I'd give it, like, an 8 or, like, a 7 out of 10. 
So anyway, next is uh I think it's called Clone Conspiracy. Okay, so this is a spoiler warning. This is another episode about the Bad Batch. It seems like the episodes with the Batch seem to do okay. Since some of those episodes, I was just I, I almost lost chance with this show because you were getting some episodes. I was just like, eh, this is kind of whatever. And then then we get an episode without the Bad Batch with the Crosshair episode. That episode was awesome. But this episode was definitely an interesting one. Despite, we don't see the Bad Batch. It's literally about a senator from the Clone Wars episodes. I think her, I would have to look up her name for sure. Uh, she's this character. I think she's the daughter of this one senator who was played by George Lucas. Which is, that was nice. It's nice to see another character get a chance to shine in this episode since the Senate episodes were tr- were trying to be interested in the Clone Wars but they were just kind of eh episodes in my opinion and so basically it's about the senator trying to um uh, find out what really happened to Camino since we learned in season one the Empire destroyed the Kaminoan base with the batch they survived of course if you saw season one and basically, it's basically like in like a spy filler episode for sure. Like, there's this one clone named Snips. I thought it was the, I think his name is Slips. I thought his name was Silk. Like that one clone trader from that one episode all the way back in Clone Wars season one. But no, it's a completely different clone. I like the beard. Like you see the effects of the war as affected our clones. They're, they have their opinions, but when they say it, they they get targeted and then. They own, they die because of their actions. And basically, they're trying to hunt this sniper guy. And it's revealed that that one admiral who was trying to keep secret what he did to the clone facility, he hired a, a sniper to kill clones who speak out. And it looks like he's ready to kill the senator too. And basically, it's like a goose chase. It's a very nice pacing episode, for sure. And so I think at the end... Um, I thought we were for sure going to see the batch, but we don't. It's kind of like, this episode's set up, for sure. We, It's later revealed uh, when she's going to tell Bail Organa. We also see Bail Organa, which is nice. And so, basically, um, she is hunted by the sniper guy. When she tells Bail Organa what truly happened, as she founds the evidence of what happened to Camino. It's then, she is then rescued by uh, Rex. So I was honestly surprised to see Rex because I didn't think, I knew he was in the trailer, but I didn't for sure thought we were going to see him. Uh, I thought we'd see him like later in the last few episodes, but no, we see him this episode. And I think they go to the Martez sisters shop when they finally take down the sniper. I thought, I almost thought Rex's life was going to be endangered, but... It wasn't, but it's revealed that it was a clone, like a clone killing clones. And he tries to get information out of him, but I think the clone ends up killing himself on revealing what he was. I honestly, if I had to be honest, I wish Rex could have had contacted the Bad Batch and it would have showed all of them on like a hologram. I feel like that could have ended the episode, but it was, oh, oh well. It was a great, it was definitely a greater episode than the last, for sure. And so, basically, I think the next episode is where we finally get the batch. And they're basically kind of getting tired of, uh, being on, on, being at their base and waiting for Sid to send, give them missions. And so the batch finally get a message from Rex of what's going on. And then... And the batch f- go to Coruscant, and I always thought that'd be an off limits for them, since that's the planet where we got Palpatine, we got or we got security all around Coruscant, because the things have changed. But now they go along with it, and Omega even dresses up as a, as I think a, a senator, sort of, and then she basically gets to watch the Senate room, like we even see. The Senate room where we see um, um, Yoda and Darth Sidious fight 
of Revenge of the Sith. I know we saw that last episode, but it was... I bet she was amazed seeing that. And so, basically, the batch are sent to this... To that one Admiral's uh, Star Destroyer. And they're basically trying to find the evidence of what happened. Because the Senator's trying to expose the truth. Even when she tried to confront him in the last episode. It didn't really work out. Like, it's really thrilling to watch. They end up... Do find the information. And they end up giving it to... The the Senator and Omega. And then... They go to the Senate room, and then we get... Here's a big spoiler. We see Palpatine. I knew he was in the trailer, but dang. He, it was thrilling to see him. He looks exactly like his Clone Wars design. You just know he's the Emperor in this episode, for sure. And then that one Admiral is finally exposed for what he did. And then he uh, is is taken away by... Shock Troopers, and then the episode kind of just ends with, um, here's a, another spoiler, um, Rex and Echo team up to rally other clone troopers in the fight against the Empire, and it kind of reminded, I don't know, it just felt, it's my surprise that Echo was leaving the team, like it would have been nice to see him stay, but it's kind of weird to see now that the Bad Batch is just Hunter, Wrecker, Tech, and Omega. Like, Crosshair is just out. And But then Echo leaves. It, 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 maybe we get, like, a side story where um, Echo and Rex are going on this little buddy cop adventure. That would be nice. And so that's the uh, the Clone Conspiracy arc. Honestly, I think this episode would have just worked as, like, a one-hour special. Like, that would have been fun. But it is what it is, and these are definitely great episodes. I think they're going to tone it down a bit this next week's episode. I mean this week's, but um, we'll have to wait and see. So I probably, I, if you saw my appearance on All New Nerds uh, YouTube channel, you probably know what I gave my thoughts on these episodes. I think I gave these like a set, an 8 out of 10 for both. So with that being said, I definitely can't wait to talk about the next few ep- Bad Batch episodes. So with that said, thanks for watching, and may the force be with you always.